And we're back. Alright, sorry. Had a message to answer. Or several. Oh. Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh. Yo. Good morning. Just as I thought. The atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. So I might actually start uh, messing around with some of the footage, so uh, this screenshot might replace Terror's intro depending on how I decide to do the videos. That might be a little fun trick, but I'll have to see what I can do with it. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you've just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. <laughs> That's, like, what happened? Byakuya and Teru Teru got killed. I'll go. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. <gasps> Why are you always so mean to me? Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Hey, hey! What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No, that was not my intention, but. And you gotta hate him more than ever! You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart! He's a stupid, piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. Hmm? Hmm? Jeez! What gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but. It smells. Something smells, don't you think? Huh? Again? It can't be. Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Hmm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. It smells bad. Um. It's kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells after closing time, you see? Hey, hey, hey! I don't know those smells. He must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it. I do smell something. It's like a sewer, or rotting garbage. I should mention, this is actually my second attempt at recording. I got about uh, half an hour in before I realized I never hit the record button. So, uh, yeah, things are going to go a little bit faster. But at first, once she said when a nightclub closes, I was going to say it did smell like, I, I don't know, I assume like piss. I got it! I know what it is! Nekomaru's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there! She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Hmm. No, it's not Nekomaru. The smell is coming from... You, Hiyoko. Hmm. Whoa. It's true! Hiyoko! You reek! What did you do to me? The rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. So, is that a Berserk reference then? I know next to nothing about Berserk, apart from the fact that there is a horse with a human face and there's an eclipse at some point. And I have seen the Spongebob Photoshop of that eclipse, so that's why it comes to mind. <sighs> I mean, after you've called the other girls in this group a skank, an ugly bitch, and other things, I feel no pity. Oh my my! She's crying! I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. You're serious? You're serious right now? I mean, you're right, but I'm a heartless bastard, so I don't care. That was close. It actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> like. Are you even taking baths? <laughs> no. You haven't bathed? I can't help it. 
I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Hey. Hyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? Really? I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! I love you, Mahiru! I'll give you a kiss! Yoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you cannot escape. She appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love! It's slippery when wet! The air's suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nagito? Seems they're both... not here. Ah, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything. I have no idea! W without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. That's right. He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not! I'm not suspicious! Impossible! That's right! Uh, I'm not suspicious! What's the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came at just the right time! Hmm? At the right time? No. It's nothing. I don't really get it, but. You must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that? Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? You know, my mono beasts. One of them just disappeared. One of the mono beasts disappeared. Hmm. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much? Perhaps they're boycotting me? Let me tell you. But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Nature, the collective will of the world. Though this is merely the prelude, the climax will occur soon after. Burn the fires of pandemonium. Now then, let me hear you scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire existence! I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh well. It looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. And it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat bot once said, Our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. Is that a Voltron reference? I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google that phrase later. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again, he disappeared. No way. What do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono piece, uh, mono beast disappearing. The only possibility I can think of is... Were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later. Then leave. At least ask me to leave kindly! Before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ah! Yes, that's right! I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. You did? Are you serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell did you pull something like that off? 
I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I released the bridge gate for you all. Actually, here's the thing. In the menu, there's actually a new mode unlocked, so... Why don't we go ahead and cut to that, Editron, if you would? Here we are in Magical Miracle Girl Monomy. Magical Girl Miracle Monomy, however it's said. Anyway, this is a side mode that's actually available from the main menu once you load your save. I don't know much about it beyond the fact that it is basically the behind-the-scenes thing. I actually did this during the failed recording at the start, so you'll forgive me if I know what I'm doing. So if we get started, we can load up each of these stages. Currently, we only have stage one available. And we can check out Monami's starting equipment. A wooden branch, a ribbon, and a diaper. Why not? So with that, why don't we look at the help menu real quick. We can move around with the thumb with the left stick or D-pad. We jump, and we use the whirl attack. I don't know what else to say beyond that, so let's just go ahead and start. I'm gonna do this on hard mode this time. Mainly because I can. So the main goal is to uh, jump on things like so, and then you can do a jump attack like that, or you can just draw a circle around them like so. Cool, huh? Well, that's one down. Just in case. Ooh, Summer Carnival. Oh, am I getting new equipment for doing this on hard mode? Because I did normal last time. Well, either way. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna grab all this. This is kind of like a horde mode type deal. I don't know how else to explain it beyond that. So let's just, let's just, uh, ow. Let's just do this as quickly as we can. I haven't quite found any difference between Monami and Usami yet, so we'll have to see as we go. Fortunately, cookies heal us, that's good. Alright, I want to gather these guys all up before I switch into Usami mode. Come on. Come on. Come on, you guys. I am Usami! That should do it. Oh, what's this? Feather scrunchy? Okay, I might have new equipment then. Well, either way, we're out of that mode. Uh, was there another one somewhere that I missed? Oh, there was. Ah! Monami's so floaty! How do I do anything with you? Alright, that should solve it, though. Right, that's all the damage I needed for that one. So now we gotta let these guys gather up as such. Do that. Clocks will give us more time, I've just suddenly realized. Like, no, none of the power-ups are really explained, so... It's kind of difficult to really figure out what you're supposed to do at first. Unless there was a tooltip or something I missed, in which case I'm sure Editron will be all too happy to point that out. And I don't rightly know. Whatever. That's all done. So now these guys we can jump on, but we also have to be careful because they do throw projectiles. Red guys will just charge us, but these guys do things that are less than pleasant. And this should solve that one. I think we're coming up on the last wave, but I don't rightly know. The only thing I do know is I managed to uh, cheese the Mono Beast in the last wave with a... Uh... I managed to get him stuck in a corner, and as a result, well, you'll see. Or 
for it, wait for it. Alright, that should do it. No? Still? Okay. Alright. Oh, we're missing you somehow. Think we're there? Nope, still? Alright. Wave 7? I don't remember how many waves there are, honestly. I remember this being done by this time last time, though, I think. I don't know. Well, whatever the case is, let's go for it. I think we're good there? Sort of? I don't know what else to say about this. But, we are almost there. Come on then. Really? Come on. Oh, come on, I connected that. Ah, here we are at the final wave. Almost there, except I am dizzy. Alright, if I can get him stuck in a corner again like I did last time. Although I don't rightly remember. I wasn't recording, apparently. Oh, I think we're there. Yep, we're, got, we're there. We almost had it. Just gonna keep at it. Eh, almost there. Come on, Monami. I need you to I need you to do this right by me. Ah, fine. Come on. Don't die on me. I don't want to lose all this. I think we're there? Almost? I got him stuck in a loop. Just a few more hits should do it. Come on! Almost there, I can feel it! Ow! Oh boy. Sorry for playing, I'm just really focused. Yay, we did it! I have no idea what all we just picked up, but sure, why not? Did it! <laughs> On hard mode, no less. I'm good with that. Why don't we see what we can equip? 
Cotton Branch, Summer Carnival. This tree branch burns with a furious flame. Alright. Fluffy hairpin. So we get more magic, or we get more magic power from that. But uh, we get more stats overall from the Feather Scrunchie. I think. Yeah, we get more Strength, Defense, and Usami from this, so... I'm willing to work with it. Alright, let's save. Save that there. And we're good! I will do the rest later. In fact, I think once we, uh... Once we clear each, uh, thing... Then I'm going to, uh, once we clear a chapter, I'm going to come back, I'll clear the Mono Beast thing, and then we'll go from there. Alright, there is something I want to check. There's no way to change the language here, is there? Shame, shame, shame. Alright, let's go. And we're back. My, wasn't that fun just watching me flounder in hard mode like that? Yeah, that was definitely interesting. So I'm thinking, from now on, anytime we clear a chapter, I'm going to open up the uh, next chapter, or the next video, with another level of that. Sound good? We'll go from there. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? That's totally right! Now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Love, love. Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Please. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Why you? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling, Hollywood-type action film. I want to live a life where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Right. If you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. Um. Yeah, it seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Now then, let us begin. Then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right. Let's find a way to leave this island. <laughs> that is... Impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Ah! Hey, hey! Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. Seems that everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that will help us escape the situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. Except for two of them. Alright, Shorty. <laughs> Bathing is more important to me than a new island. They'll tease me for being stinky. I mean, after everything you've said to them? I'm not gonna say it's undeserved. Hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. You can't! You promised you'd tie my kimono sash! Hey! Well, that was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but, but if I don't hurry and go take a bath... They'll call me smelly again! They're gonna bully me again! Yeah, yeah. Okay then, let's take a light shower first. Yay! We're gonna wash each other! Huh? Wash each other? Hold on, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in, too. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But... let's go! Kyoko pulled Mahiro's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed toward the cottages. Wash each other. I see. Washing each other, huh? Alright, so why don't we go down to the lobby real quick? I want to check something. Is Hiko in there? I already know he's not outside. Not outside the immediate area, anyway. There's a bar there. Wait. 
Okay, no hidden Monokuma there. Thought I saw one, but I was not sure. All right, we're good then. Wait, 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 one more, one more check, just to be sure. I'm going to be thorough, damn it. All right. So I'm gonna cut ahead to the Mano Mano Yashin. I have no idea why it's called that. I still, I am still trying to figure that out, but I haven't found it yet. So I'm just gonna roll over this way. All right. Uh, one thing before I cut ahead that I want to point out to you guys is that everybody else's uh, sign outside of their cottage doesn't glow. However, ours does for some reason. We can't go inside right now, though. I know that. So, uh, yeah, it's weird. I thought that was interesting. Anyway, I'll cut ahead. Ah, lame. But I guess expected as well. Why don't we give Snack Friend a present? What do I have to give Snack Friend? Oh, hang on. I got clean first. How about a cloth wrap backpack? Alright, Snack Friend seems to be doing pretty good, so I'll leave her to it. She's gonna grow soon again anyway. So the new island then. All right, I ran a lap around the island as well, so let's go to the second island. She's right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monomi was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right, I guess I should find out. So this is the new island. The ambiance seems different, compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, now's not the time for me to care- make- to cake- to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. So, what do you guys think? Left or right? Why don't we go left? I want to see what we have here for us. And then I will speak with Gundam. So we have... Pork? Pork burger? Burger pork? I think it's pork burger. So we've got a diner. A pharmacy. A library. A waterfall? Or a temple? Ancient ruin, that's it. There's not a lot here, is there? Denise? Well, not compared to the first island, anyway. Denise? Com... Comp Koyu? Gangly Compli Koyu? Is that what that says? I can hardly read that sign from here. Alright, Gundam. What do you got? It's nearly showtime! You're too late! The seal has already been broken! Seal. Is he talking about the bridge? Whatever, it's not like I really care. Alright, to the diner then! Signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside? That looks like... Oh, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. Ooh, Hiko start, uh, suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on. Why is he here? It wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? There are other things I want to explore first. For example, could there be... Could there be a hidden mono bear anywhere? Nope, does not look like it. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. So someone must be monitoring us. Do do do. All right, let's talk. Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? 
Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Shut the hell up! I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? And I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So, get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person. It's got nothing to do with you. Mind your own business! Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? That includes the Kuzu Ryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Huh. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh. You have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Why'd you let me bring that up, anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? Hm. Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakia and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Hm. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You... You're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. Man, I should have saved those laser butt glasses for you, dude. So, what can I look at out here? You know what I'm looking for. That should be clear by now. Okay, the diner interior, the monitor, the camera. Let's see. The diner signboard is spinning. Spending restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. Maybe it's solar powered? I don't know. Chandler Beach? A scream? That voice just now. Wasn't that Ibuki? Ibuki? You alright, dear? I'm a coming. I'm not checking the beach house first. I'm gonna look over here. Oh, hang on! Hang on! Be right with you, Ibuki! Huh? Are you serious? I knew one had to be around here somewhere, I just didn't know where. Are there any others? Just the beach house, I guess. Okay. Ibuki, you okay? Uh... Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Hey, Bookie, are you alright? What happened? Emergency! Th this is bad! I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words! What's going on? <laughs> the killing! The killing started again! Huh? Pointing. Look! Over there! So I glanced over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing with her finger. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? 
That's quite absurd! Ah! Huh? Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! He's done it! Nekomaru Nidai's ultimate move! Super Body Blow! That's instant death! If she's lucky, she'll survive another five minutes at best! Sheesh! Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown! That's even worse! The rules for the school trip clearly state, excessive violence is prohibited. Training! What violence? This is not a real fight, we're training! But it looked like a real fight. Huh? And I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. Training! We both agreed to this training se session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? <sighs> if I gotta admit it. What the? She's alive! Fool. She's not a weakling who get killed by a weak blow like that. <sighs> he looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I see. Akane, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning, and your timing. It's all half-assed. You are not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics! Make sure you understand the basics! They'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct. You. Damn it. Shut up. Then... If you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I will fight you once again. Don't forget. You better not forget what- Why is she doing his voice all of a sudden? You better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I won't give up until I beat you. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However, she fought that fiercely with just her own style. How ominous! My hands are still numb. That girl. She's probably gonna get even stronger. Yeah, you're probably right. What kind of conversation is this? <laughs> the more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? Oh. You two. Basics are the foundation for everything. No, I get that, but... Training that resembles an actual fight might be fun. But just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. Nekomaru is pretty great, I must admit. Alright, let's go inside and check out the beach house. This is... I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. This is it all one room? Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Roadside door, soda, closet, beach side door. Oh, okay, it is just one room. Alright, well, before we do anything there. Looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. But most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? There's a trash can. I don't have anything I need to throw away. I don't know, man. You don't seem to have a lot of interest, do you? Eh, I was gonna make a joke about he's how oh, he's garbage, but he proved himself during the trial. Yo! 
Doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something? The shower is out of order, but the ambience is nice. And the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey! Don't shatter my dreams like that! That's right! More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Uh... Awesome! Totally awesome! Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia! I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. It's here! Hey! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? I won't forgive you! Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be a shame it would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, uh, so you mean changing here isn't allowed. Not going to the beach itself. Huh? And I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. You might let her down though. Did I just get Did we just get Rickrolled? Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. You guys? Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them! No questions asked! Sorry, I just had to get another screenshot of this. I want a, I want a collection of monokumas. I just want a slideshow for my desktop background. Yeah. He's here! You... What are you holding? A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Hey, hey, hey. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> I want to shoot <laughs> that, that sound. That's, oh, he's under so much strain. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot sh something right now. Whoa. Control yourself. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. Um... As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh... That was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. I don't know, dude, I feel refreshed after that. I think that's everything in here apart from the monitor and the uh, camera. Sorry, it's just... Hearing Monokuma strain with that much self-control. Which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Which reminds me. I had something to ask you. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Whoa. I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Uh. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying! So let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended the conversation very forcefully. Just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. Alright, let's go to the road. Alright, so where do we head to from here? Sorry, I might actually have to get that clip of Monokuma saying he'll hold it in or control himself. Maybe both. Because I'm sorry, just... Monokuma holding a machine gun is probably the best thing that I've seen today. You know, first it's Monokuma with a suit, now he's got a machine gun. I just, I can't, he can't make this up. Should I do another lap around the island, I wonder? Yeah, you know what, we'll do that. I'll meet you guys at the drugstore. Or, you know, once it grows, we'll go from there. I'm not going to lap around the island in that time. Oh? Oh? It wants to give you something. What do you have? Monocoin? Oh my god, you get monocoins for this? Dude! Nice! Goodbye. Goodbye, snake friend. I'll miss you, okay?
All right. All right, well, I'm gonna hatch this one first, okay? Meet you back here. Oh, we have a chibi me. All right, well, time to give you a present. Sweet lemon flavored carbonated drink. A marble plugs the opening of the uniquely designed bottle. The bottle can also be reused if you bring it to the Ramoon store. Ramune? Ramoon? I don't know, but let me tell you, this stuff is delicious. Have a soda, friend. You know what? I'm also going to give you uh, the coconut juice as well. A colorless, transparent juice found inside coconuts. A sweet taste is considered refreshing by many. That ought to help a little bit, friend. Alright, now into the drugstore. Oh, dude, nice! Also, I just realized Mikan is kind of, is a candy striper based on her, uh... Was it an apron? That sounds right, but I don't know if that's the right term. I mean, she's got the one stripe, so... It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. Just where... Whew, sorry. Just want to make sure before I talk with Mikan. These shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more potent. Hey, Mikan! She squeed. What's with you? I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before, people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here, either. Well. With all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Oh. She's too sweet. She cares that much. She cares so much, she's willing to inject us with god knows what. Just to make us feel better. At least I hope that's what that is. Wow. That's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. There's a broken Monomi statue. And another one over there. Aha! Huh? I've been found. I'll take those. Uh, let's see, we should check out the books as well. The Monokuma statues, and the destroyed statues. Let me start with the destroyed statues. The bronze statue of Monami, I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. Is it the same over here? Alright. What language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I see. I such, see. such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? <coughs> the newest issue of Occult Magazine. It breaks the lid off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That's quite a surprise. You are wrong. It's not like I read it often. I'm just reading about it because I'm just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. However, seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. The Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Most tight. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. 
She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Wow! Apparently she is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? See? This one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you, just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls himself the Ally of Justice. Also, also. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonia, calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the masks Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert! Yes! Hey. You too. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about mere murders with such enthusiasm? I... haven't done any talking. Please, wait. Please hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with the value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers. Their value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence. I am totes intrigued. Is this kind of like... A young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Sonia, I swear, I really do grow to love you more each time I see you. Hell, all of the girls except for Hiyoko have a special place in my heart, it seems. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. Wow. That's a lot of books. A lot of them have really fancy covers. They might actually be very valuable. Although a guy like me can't even read them. They're basically ornaments. Are they like legal books? Is that why you're having trouble? Is it like Phoenix Wright where all the legal books mock you? I agree that serial killers have different values than normal people. But why does that make them marvelous? Sonia's values might be a little different compared to our own. Well, she is a princess, after all. Surprise! I'm a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my own homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true. And, just as expected, nobody is here, either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here! I'm reading a book! <laughs> Since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um... I, I see. Uh... It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. Ta-da! So, I prepared this library! Prepare? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. Hey! I am a teacher! You... You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? That's... Real identity? Now that's just silly. <laughs> Good Goodbye! Anyway, as soon as things get inconvenient, it's even more suspicious. However, I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see, I see. According to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they donated. Hold on, did you say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no clue. It's in English, dude. Where's my drink? I have to go find my water. Hold on. Sorry. In a perhaps not so shocking twist, it turns out that I left my drink downstairs. It's okay. I've got it now. So anyway. What language is this? I have no clue. Then... I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? 
I am fluent in 30 different languages, and it's a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages. Does the royal family have a limit? Um. Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. A bronze statue in the lobby of this building symbolizes the island. Except there's no central building. This is exactly what Byakia told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh? It is strange, no? I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. There's no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were Monokuma Rock and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about th that bronze statue that turned into the Mono Beasts? But that statue is in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. That is not all. There's another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about the effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? And what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm Gemini. Gem. Gemera? Jumera? One moment. I'm looking that up. Okay, Palm Jumeirah is an island, or an artificial island in the United Arab Emirates. Okay, that's cool. An artificial island? Well? It's a huge artificial island and tourist site located- If I had known this was coming, I wouldn't have looked it up! Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. That especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. Well done. My my, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? Hey, hey. However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? Hmm. The hint is... You know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Hey, hold on a second! But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial? There's no way that is true. There's no way. That guidebook. It's probably just old. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well? Um, I'm letting everyone else know too. But can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some claimed clue. Then I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Aww! And I was gonna explore elsewhere, too. Wait! This is Hope's Peak! No! This is the original Hope's Peak? Because, like, with the vault and everything. The heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, It is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, it seems... Perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin? What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? 
school. Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. We're at the location of the first Danganronpa. That's the only thing that makes sense here, because there's the machine gun right outside in front of the door. Oh man, what are the implications here? Only six students left that building. All the others might still be in the morgue if the power's still on. It's not... Ugh, they're still in there, they're just kind of decomposed. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard! I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. <laughs> I didn't know you were also here. <laughs> Bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Nothing like that. Aww. Then who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mahiru more. Let me ask. What in the world did you find? Chiaki found something. I wonder what it is. I... I don't know what else to say. It's just like... Looking at this, it's... Definitely Hope's Peak. The only thing that's confusing me is like, this spot right over here. It looks like there's something that might have been under construction there? And really, the door's the only thing I can explore? Fine. What is this? Ancient ruins? There's a strange ambiance to it. I should listen to what Chiaki has to say first. It appears. I've talked to everyone, but nobody has seen Nagito. However. Kazuichi and Nekomaru seemed uncomfortable discussing it. What are they hiding? What the heck? I want to play with Mahiru in the bath some more. Hey. It just occurred to me, but have you seen Nagito anywhere? No, I haven't seen him. Mm. I see. This goes for Fuyuhiko too, but you boys should really get a hold of yourselves. I just need to double check. Yep, it's mostly just talking to people. Eh. Hey, bastard! Took the time to come all the way here. It's a waste of my time. I'll fucking cut you. <laughs> After we finish exploring these ruins, let's invite Miss Sonia and have some fun splashing around at the private beach. All right. My bad. Everyone's invited, right? Right? Seriously, this guy—he's just so carefree. Let me tell you this: a new land is opened. However, it does not mean we will find salvation there. Aha! Grief is all that awaits us, but that would be quite entertaining. So he's saying he didn't find anything useful on this island. Is that it? <laughs> Chiaki was investigating this place really thoroughly. Is she a ruins enthusiast? Huh? I did not find anything at the beach that could help us escape. I hope we find something here. Uh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing so suddenly? I was so excited about the drugstore that I completely forgot to find a way off this island. Sounds like she was only thinking about giving people shots. Then, there weren't any clues at that drugstore? Well, there was lots of medicine. <laughs> and lots of syringes. And needles. So, shots then. Sorry. I see. Coach Nekomaru sure is strong. I'm starting to get pumped up. Definitely gonna win before I get out of here. She could at least make an effort to help us find a way out of here. All right, Chiaki. What did you uncover? What'd you find? It's not way off this island. Does it have something to do with this island's secret? 
about that. I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. It's a little hard to understand. See? Look, that door over there. Door? You mean the door I already looked at? It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. It looks like that's the door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Um. Before we attempt to go inside, Let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. There's a gun on the door! That's completely unnatural! You're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit in with an ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Oh. It looks like it's Japanese. Oh! You're totally right! Um. I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or Future. Future. Bastard! Who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. Looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. Oh, right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty. So, what's next? It's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hints. <laughs> Are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious! Shut up! We just type whatever. We might get it right. Hold it. I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? What do you mean, dangerous? Because that thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun. Huh? That's a gun? If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Damn it. It, it can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it. For now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then! But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin, with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? And the problem is, how is it important? Um... um... Silence. You're both quiet? You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, I have no, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. Um... For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. I won't be There's no way you guys don't know. Just don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. Um... You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Just as I thought. You guys were hiding on purpose, right? Hey. Don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch! Oh, I'm sorry. oh my god. You nasty pig bar. Say you're sorry, bitch! I just said it! I just said I'm sorry! It's possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited. For example, this place might be a shelter. And there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide a shel hide in the shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up. 
Several possibilities cross my mind. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? Hey, um... For instance, even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus Meteor Fist. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery. That seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. Why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group! Just kidding! I know! There's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly Tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Calling me ugly and a Tanuki. Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest! Hello! He's totally depressed. <laughs> there's a traitor. They probably know how to open that door, right? There's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Or, maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding there. What? Do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. Yes. There isn't... There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, bastard. Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. What's so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just... Have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? Now, I'm the one asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. Come on! I understand why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students... No, wait. Elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists! So what is this organization? <laughs> it's literally what it says. I don't believe it! Those guys ended the world! <laughs> ended the world? Hey, um... That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? So basically... You mean... they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. Not only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world! What's going on? So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender. You're saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is... The organization that the traitor is working for, the one that brought you to this island, World Ender is behind it all. Are you kidding me? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made up story to trick us, like when we said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I should listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? If you keep acting like this, like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, 
one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey! You better stop. I'm gonna punish you. Shut up, Monami. Big Brother to find trash like you needs to be punished. No. Don't pull my ears. They're gonna come, come off. Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understood what he was talking about? Um. Not a clue. <laughs> hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Look at that, man! I've got seven Monokumas lined up already! Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors... And world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. Don't be like Makoto and please lock your door, Hajime. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never, ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! Make sure you guys be careful, too. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then! Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. This is where the Monokuma plushies are placed. Why do stuff like this here without my permission? Yeah, let's go to the restaurant, get some food in our system. We'll call it once free time starts. I'm probably just gonna spend most of my time... Eh... Words. What are words? What? 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 What words am I looking for? I'm just gonna spend a lot of the mono coins getting stuff from the machine, or the Yashin. And I'll run around and level up our uh, new Chibi Me. Alright! Yeah, that sounds good. So, we'll start with free time next time. Hi, Gundam. Stay back. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? How pitiful. The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Byakuya and Teru Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom? Or to burn in the fires of Gehenna? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy's the same as usual. Wait, that also says Mirai. What is the connection between the hotel and the old academy building? Good morning, Sonia dear. Um, I 
feel such nostalgia for the Japanese dishes my servant used to prepare. Her servant must have been annoyed to be, to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, an army marches with its stomachs. That being said, let us have breakfast. Ibuki, my main girl! What is up, girl? Good nom nom nomming! Meow! Do you know how many of those I used? I did not count. Who knows? Whoa there! Your cool demeanor gives me the shivers! But you should talk about it more, you know? Shoot me with your word arrows! Thinking about Byakia made me feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay upbeat. About Byakia? I see, I see. That's right, he may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome! It sounds easy to keep a promise till the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. Aww. If only he didn't have piggy fingers. Darn! That's so disappointing. <laughs> now then, I'm off to the restaurant! Adieu! She didn't have to say that last bit. Morning, Neku. Or Neko. Good, good morning, Nekomaru. <laughs> what is it, Hajime? Do you need to talk to me about something? What's wrong? What are you so surprised about? <laughs> no need to worry. I'll head to the restaurant first. It's just my imagination. Or does he seem weirder than usual? Not your imagination, my dude! Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think? About what? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? The stuff he said about a traitor in World Ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. Honestly. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No! No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario... Impossible! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold! In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Huh? It cannot be. Tied up, you say. Um... Could you be referring to Nagito, whom we haven't seen since yesterday? <laughs> Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! What about that other part, where he said he was tied up and can't move? <laughs> Sorry, I just... The fact that the music stopped in along with that sound and that face... That was very beautifully timed. Hey, Kazuichi! What should we do? Hey. Dumbass, don't rope me into this! They'll find out we work together to- Ah, ah crap. <laughs> you guys are both idiots. You. Hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well... You know. <sighs> There's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Mm. Teru Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. Honestly. So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. Um. How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high you can sell tickets to see it. Good instincts. That's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall, my tears. What they like, and what they hate. What makes them happy, what makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. 
Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Uh. The dining hall. In the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. So you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. You killed him? He's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so that we could tie him up. Then. What shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm. It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. So isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick. She's still eating a lot. I don't blame her! I see, I see. It seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh. I know that already. Aww. I didn't expect you two would do something like that. I wish you treated more like an achievement. And I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. Who are you calling tiny boy? You're here? Jeez. Figures. You guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you quarter them. Look at you sheep acting all righteous. What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. Oh. Did the shitty sheep bleed at me? What did you say? Looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up! Shut up! You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You're you're just a pipsqueak without the Kuzuriu clan backing you up. What'd you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastards. Make sure you regret that later. Huh? The heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um. Kazuichi, let's just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can tell. I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. <laughs> in the future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. On top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. It's just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and left for our respective cottages. So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Alright, I'm gonna call it here. I will talk to you guys later. Alright? Have fun!